So in this video, I'm just gonna take you through the steps that I'm going to use for this challenge to get cheap conversions, basically, to try and get cheap cost per purchase using manual bidding on TikTok ads. Now, if you watch my previous videos, you'll see that uh, we ran into some problems with the ad account, had to rebuild the ad account in the funnel a little bit. Um, and in this video, we're gonna try and relaunch some of the ads. It's been a while since I've run any ads on this account. I went away for a week. You can see I've gone skiing. Um, so now we're gonna relaunch the ads and we're gonna see how things go with this new campaign. So this is a manual bidding campaign and I only recommend you do this if you are medium to experienced with ads on any platform uh, and you're willing to give this a bit of a try. The strategy here is basically we're gonna give TikTok enough budget to give us a good traffic, but we're gonna bid really, really low. So the idea is if we give them a high budget but a low bid will still get, as a percentage of that total budget, it'll only spend 10, 20% per day, but we'll still get a good amount of spend and from that good amount of purchase, which means we can make a good number of sales. Now on this ad account and on this uh, product that we're running, this is the same pet product we were running before, free plus shipping. Uh, we are getting some very good cost per initiate checkouts. On the last test, it was about 70 cents cost per checkout, which means we're getting a lot of leads, but we're not getting many conversions. So we need to try and get conversions for a cheaper cost. And I think on this account, $20 CPA is our maximum. At that point, we're breaking even. So we wanna be doing anywhere below $15 CPA, which means we'll be making a 10 to 20% profit margin on some of those sales. And this is more, more of just a test for this account. We'll see if this works. If this product doesn't work in the next few days, we'll turn it off and we'll try something new. So first of all, this is how we've set up the campaign. So it's just a normal conversion campaign giving it a name and we're setting the daily budget limit on the campaign to $50 per day. And you'll see why in a second. We then come to the ad set level or the ad group level, whatever you want to call it, uh, giving it a name. Obviously that's the, the pixel um, and we're going for the TikTok. We're just TikTok placement. I'm allowing people to comment because I want to see what people's response is to the product. If people like the product or if they don't like the product. If they don't like the product, then we know through the comments. Um, you know, you're always going to get negative comments on your ads, but when it's a good product, you'll also see a lot of good comments as well. So it really depends on how people are responding, and we can only get that data quickly if we allow people to comment. In the future, when we're scaling, we'll probably turn that off just because it's a lot to manage. Um, but to start off with, it's a good shout, good thing to do. So we're going to come down. Everything is the same as usual. We're targeting the United States. Uh, all age ranges and then we're targeting the pet category under the video so you can see here watch to the end of the videos we're targeting pets in the last 15 people who've watched uh, in the last 15 days and then we're putting our daily budget to four thousand dollars per day now that's why we've put the fifty dollar per day limit on the campaign because what we're telling uh, TikTok is we have got four thousand dollars to spend every single day but we're only going to spend that if you give us a good cost per purchase we're only going to spend that if our cost per purchase is below a certain amount which we're going to set up now now the next thing we're going to do is um, day parting uh, and I'm going to make a specific video after this one on day parting um, but just a quick run through this is set to an American I think it's Eastern time zone is where I've set up this ad account so we're going to run the ads from uh well till about one in the morning so you know some people will be awake uh we're then going to run them from 6 30 in the morning to about nine in the morning 10 in the morning so 6 30 to 9 30 wait let's do that again and get rid of that so 6 30 to 9 30 people will probably be going to work or at work at this point some people will obviously still be at home working from home and scrolling through tiktok at this point but what i've noticed is throughout the day from nine till four nine till three no one's really buying at all <coughs> so what we're going to do is then set up the ads to run from four o'clock until midnight so this is the time of day where people are purchasing the most and you can copy this you can use this at whatever time you want typically this is how i set it up so We'll go from six o'clock in the morning to 9.30. Then we'll go from four o'clock in the afternoon to midnight and then midnight till two in the morning. And that just means that we're only spending money at the time of day where people are purchasing. We're then gonna set a cost cap. Now it's suggesting we do $41 cost cap. And that's obviously far too high for us. And you'll see this number will actually change once it starts to spend, if it starts to spend. Now on the previous ad account, I did this test and I was testing anywhere between a $6 cost per um, conversion up to a $15 cost per conversion. The sweet spot that we're looking for is around $15 maximum. So we're gonna set this to $12. Now the hope is here that we'll actually get enough spend because our cost per click is around three to five cents. So hopefully we'll get a lot of traffic 
and we'll get conversions at a cheap enough cost. Now, what will happen is one of two things. One, the ads will spend and we'll see conversions at every $12. The other thing is on that note, I see a lot of failed payments on this product. Um, and that's mostly just because of Stripe, the product, uh, the website builder that I'm using, which is ClickFunnels. Um, and what happens is we see at around $12 is a new purchase trying to come through, but then that purchase fails, which obviously means our CPA is rising. So our CPA is going to be probably around $15, even though it says $12 cost per conversion. Uh, now, if you're using a better payment provider, you may see better conversions. Uh, the next thing is advanced settings. I don't think we need to do anything on there. No, that's fine. We don't want to do accelerated um, because we're, we're spending throughout the whole day. Next thing is <clears throat> I want to click next. And this is where we're going to set up the ad. So I'm going to build the ads now and I'll pause it and I'll take you through the rest of the strategy. Okay, so I've just launched the ads. I'm going to take you through the results that we've seen on the last test. So this is the CBO test that we ran on the last video. So if you're interested in how we set that up, go ahead and watch the previous video. Uh, and in this video, I'm going to take you through the results. So the way this was to run was a CBO, $50 per, uh, $100 per day, uh, and uh, we had 10 different ad sets within this CBO. Now, I made the mistake of not adding enough balance to the account, and then I went away on holiday for about five or six days, so I didn't see this, so obviously we didn't get any spend. Now, that being said, you can see here the cost per click was $0.04 cents for the campaign, cost per ad to cart was $0.09 cents for the campaign, and then $0.32 cents for checkout. Um, and then no purchases were tracked. I think we did actually make one sale from this, but obviously that didn't track. Um, and on this whole ad account, we've actually made about six or seven sales, but again, none of that tracked. Uh, so I need to make sure the tracking issue is fixed on this account. But that being said, you can see that you know with these cost per clicks and these stats, we should be getting very good conversions. Now we're always gonna see a low conversion rate on free plus shipping offers because a lot of people are gonna come through expecting the products for free and they're not actually gonna buy because it's not for free. They can see they have to pay for shipping. And the shipping isn't actually that cheap because I'm trying to get as much profit coming in as possible. So you can see here, these are the stats we're aiming for. So I'm saying that actually for $12, $12 we should be getting a purchase. So let's just calculate what that would be. So we're saying that we're gonna get uh, $12 cost per purchase. So 12, I'm gonna divide that by 32 cents. Oops, let's do that correctly. 0.32. We should get about 40 opt-ins before we actually see a conversion. That's a lot of people who are actually interested in buying our product. That's a lot of emails, that's a lot of phone numbers, that's a lot of contact details, but we're going to get opting into our funnel, and those are all people that we can retarget through SMS blasts and through email marketing. Now, to start off with, what I've noticed is on TikTok, although we can get very, very cheap checkouts, we can get very, very cheap leads that a lot of these people aren't high quality leads. These people don't respond well to email marketing. They don't respond well to SMS marketing. Whereas from Facebook, when you get these leads, a lot of people who opt in are very high intent. So although on Facebook, this cost will probably be about a dollar or two, those people will be a lot more higher intent than these. That being said, that doesn't mean we can't still retarget them. A lead is a lead. And once we've got data, we can use that data to get more sales. So this is what's gonna happen with a new manual bidding campaign. We're gonna come back to the campaign settings. And we're going to turn off this CBO because we're not going to run that anymore. What I've noticed is auto can make very good sales, but it's not very good for scaling when you've got very, very thin margins. What we ideally need is a manual bidding campaign that will spend $100 to $300 per day that brings in sales at a cheap enough cost. Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen right away. We may have to raise our bid. We may have to increase our average order value. But to get started, we've got this one ad set in here. And what we're going to do is, same as what I mentioned in the first video, is we're going to duplicate this nine times. So we're going to have nine ad sets. Okay, so I've just published nine more ad sets. I'm letting those uh, publish, and then we'll uh, we'll come back and see those in a minute once those are done. But the strategy here is we'll have one campaign which will spend a maximum of $50 per day, and we'll have 10 ad sets set to $4,000 per day with a bid cap of $12, sorry, a cost cap of $12. So in theory, what that means is we've got a campaign that's got $40,000 per day to spend, but it's only going to spend $50 per day, and it's only going to bring in purchases less than $12. So... This is why I said at the start of the video not to use this technique. This is a very high level advanced technique, not to use this technique if you aren't willing to risk a little bit. Now, like I said, there is no way that this will spend $40,000 in one day. And if it does spend $40,000 in one day, it will always bring you purchases that are profitable below $12. So it's, it's a safe but also risky strategy. I would not recommend this to anybody unless you're experienced at all. Because if you do set up this campaign wrong and you do accidentally make that bid, for example, $120 rather than $12, 
dollars it will spend four thousand dollars almost instantly and you will obviously lose a lot and lot a lot of money so be very very careful when you're using this strategy now on facebook this is technically called the sniping strategy and what you're doing is you're saying, I've got a very high budget, but I'm only willing to spend that budget if you're going to give me cheap sales. Now, we're not going to see all of that budget spend. And if we only see 10% of that budget spend, we'll see $40 per day in spend, which is a reasonable amount, because for that, we'll probably see four, three or four sales, which is from our average order value about nine, six, nine, twelve, about 120 to 200 dollars per day in revenue, and probably about $50 in profit per day. So that's a very strong position to be in. The only issue with this strategy is if you want to scale it up, you have to raise your bid. And like I said at the start, a maximum bid really for this account needs to be around $12 to $15. Any higher than that, we're going to lose money on those sales. So a lot of this strategy is going to come from the back end remarketing campaigns. And a lot of people who will opt in, we will then hit those through email marketing. We will then hit those people through SMS marketing. We'll also cross sell anybody who does buy to come and buy other products. And we've also got a subscription products on there as well so we'll hopefully be getting people onto subscriptions so that's the strategy for this account and we'll see how it goes now if you've been following along for the other videos it'd be great if you could like and subscribe and keep your eye out for the next video that comes out in this series like i said at the start this is a new test this product has actually made us a two times return on sales however like i said at the start the problem that we're seeing is a lot of people who buy fail payments, and also TikTok keeps on shutting down ad accounts because it's a free plus shipping offer, which you're not technically allowed to do. So we'll see how this goes. If this doesn't make any profit in the next two days, we'll turn off this product and we'll try something new and it'll be more of a traditional Shopify page, which will have a fixed price for a product and hopefully we'll see some good sales from that. So we're gonna keep on using this account. We're gonna keep testing new products. So if you guys have got any ideas that you want to uh, see in new videos, don't forget to leave a comment below. And in our next video, we'll probably do a product research um, video or how we find a product or at least uh, in the next week or two we'll do a video on how we find products to test for tiktok ads uh, without any uh, any without any further ado uh, we'll see you in the next one and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video see you next time